Hi, in this video I want to show you how to set up a database mail in uh, SQL Server 2008. So I'm going to go into SQL Server 2008 and under management uh, there's going to be a database mail and you, you could go in and you could do the wizard or you could execute these commands. So if I execute these commands basically configuring the database mail or the, it, here it's really configuring the extended store procedures here for a database mail and uh, start the database mail but I, I could also go in here and it'll do the same thing now I'm going to choose configure database mail and normally it'll prompt me to say yes enable database mail and I'll just click yes but since I already enabled it, it didn't prompt me so I'm going to go in I'm going to choose the first selection and I'm going to make a profile that's a monitor email profile and this is going to be used to monitor uh, processes and uh, database sizes on the um, database server here. So I'm going to create this uh, specifically for doing notifications and uh, alerts and all of that. Uh, so um, if you notice I clicked add here to add an SMTP account. So my account is going to be code cowboy org account and it's just going to be gmail.com is my email so I'm just going to use uh, my gmail account here now uh, wh when you do this most likely you're going to be doing it for your company or for your website and uh, you're going to have your own SMTP account here I'm going to put in my uh, mail server here and I'm going to have some authentication information so my authentication information is going to be whatever my mail server my SMTP mail server is so just make sure you know when when you're doing this you have all that information with you but this is really uh, you know fairly standard for setting up any type of mail account whether it's Outlook or whatever but this just so happens to be in SQL Server so I'm gonna click OK here click Next and here I'm gonna choose this as the default profile so when you're using some stored procedures later to send email and you don't specify a specific profile it's going to use this profile or you could specifically set this profile uh, using one of the parameters within the uh, extended store procedures for database mail so I'm just going to click next because I already set it now these parameters in particular uh, you'll notice there's a file size here so in some of the extended store procedures for database mail you could send out queries and they, they can limit the size of the database attachment or the size of the message itself so here I set it to a megabyte which is enough be because um, if you set it if you typically if you mail anything other than one megabyte it's pretty big for a mail server so that's enough for me and I'm gonna just choose the default so I'm gonna click next so the next thing I'm gonna do is test the mail and I'm gonna send a quick email here So I'm going to put in my uh, email that I want to send the email to cowboyborg at gmail.com and I'm going to send the test email and I'm going to click OK here now you'll, you'll notice in the background it, it already sent uh, so that was pretty quick the, this is my gmail account for my code cowboy so you'll notice if I open up the email, uh, that was the message that was sent. Um, but also, if, if I go in and I check the queue, uh, under the system database MSDB, if you query this view here, you'll notice um, all, all the emails that you've sent is going to be in this queue. So. Um, you, you could check this queue basically to see if it's sent or not um, this table right here so th there's also other ways to th this particular view here 
gives you a status of uh, things that weren't sent. So I did try to send other stuff that was not successful and I'll give you a reason why. So, um, and you, you could also delete from the view. So if I, if I delete these items, for example, you'll see now it's, now it's gone. So you'll, you'll have to clear that once in a while. Um, but I could also send an email by using this store procedure here. And I'll go in more in depth later on how to do more monitoring um, queries and how to set up a job to actually monitor uh, not, not so much uh, database issues, but more application issues or more system processes issues that you want to query for uh, on a normal production environment. So um, I'll be doing a video next on that. but. In this case, I'm just going to send a simple email. And you'll notice if I check my queue again, it's in the queue. And it's actually already sent. So let me check my email and you'll notice it's here. So that, that's how you set up um, database mail. And that's the benefits of uh, having database mail is uh, actually having the monitoring jobs running and sending alerts to you and notifications to you. Um, so in a in the next video I'm gonna go more in depth on how to do a query, uh, mail it as an attachment and uh, create a basically a cron job or a, jo a SQL Server agent job that actually monitors it and you know sends it every two hours for example. Um, okay, uh, thank you for watching.